So the way language models trigger actions inside VAPI has changed. We used to trigger actions using function calls, but now that has been deprecated in favor of tool calls. I've got a few comments in my community asking, uh, asking me to make a new video about it. So this is why I made this video. We will go through how to set these tools on the VAPI UI, as well as making a few tweaks on your existing make automations so that you're able to properly retrieve information back onto your VAPI assistant so that it can use that uh, during the call. Maybe it wants to know the current date and time, which VAPI assistants cannot do natively, as well as uh, retrieving other information such as uh, the busy time slots from your Google Calendar. All right. I will be going through an example that I've shown on a previous video. So I'll leave that video on one of the top corners so that you can have um, a bit of background information, right? And this video will serve to basically make those corrections given uh, this new update from VAPI, all right? So without further ado, let's get straight to it. All right, so for the tool setup, we will be using this assistant. And if you want a full breakdown of how I made this assistant from scratch, you can go ahead and check the previous video that I mentioned or uh, go down in the description and yeah, you can access the video over there as well. But yeah, if you check the prompt, you will see that I allow the assistant to perform these four actions. All right. So we will look at the first one, check the current date and time. So how does this work? How does this work? Well, uh, what happens is, we provide the assistant with a URL, okay? As well as uh, some description of what that URL does and what it needs to look for with that URL, okay? So whenever the assistant thinks that it needs the current date and time, for example, it will uh, trigger this URL, okay? This webhook URL. And when this URL is triggered, it will activate this automation right here, okay? This automation then will finish with this module, which is a webhook response, meaning that information will be sent back onto the VAPI server, right? And onto the assistant with the information that we want to give it. In this case, we're giving it back the uh, current date and time, okay? We're setting the, the date and time right here, and then we're sending it back, okay? So let's go ahead and set that tool, right? The tool for uh, checking the current date and time. So we're going to go ahead and click here on the left on tools. All right. And we have some tools here, but we're going to make a new one. So we're going to choose a provider, All right? So let's choose make in this case. And this is what I was telling you about, right? This server URL. So in your automation, you're going to go ahead and copy the URL. Okay. The, the webhook URL at the start of the automation in order to trigger it. So you're gonna grab that and paste it right here, all right? And then uh, go ahead and save that before moving on. And then you can hit next. All right, so now we are going to set a property, okay? So this is going to be used by the assistant to understand what does it need to look for, right? What information it needs to look for. So in this case, it will be the current date and time, right? Let's call it, yeah, current date and time is good. Current date and time, okay? And we can say, well, this is the current date and time, right? Perfect. And this will go inside the tool. And you can hit save. We're going to hit next. And now we're actually going to describe the tool, right, that it's going to use. What you saw before was a property inside the tool, but now we are defining the tool itself, right? So the name usually is described as an action. So get and then something, right? Because we are calling, usually calling an automation and then we are getting back some piece of information, right? So get current uh, date and time, all right? Remember that these descriptions and, you know, Anything that we write uh, on this tool has to be short and concise so that the assistant doesn't really have to go too deep into it, right? If you write it a whole paragraph, then it's going to be a bit more difficult for uh, the assistant to understand if it needs to trigger that tool, right? So you need to write the most simple and concise description, right? So this tool 
gets the current date and time. And that should be enough. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit create. And now we have the tool already made. Perfect. All right. So now that we define the tool, we need to go back to the assistance section and on the functions tab, we need to let the assistant know that this tool exists. Okay. So you see this drop down here, we're going to select that and then select the tool that we just made. All right. Great. And don't forget to hit publish. Okay. Great. So now we can go ahead on to make and create the automation. Okay. In order to retrieve the information back to the assistant, once the assistant triggers uh, that webhook. Okay. All right. So let's go to make, and I'm going to explain you first how we used to do it before when we had functions. Okay. How did we structure the response? So it used to look like this and all we had to do is send the date and time, right? Using the, the now variable inside make, which just describes the current date and time. I wouldn't send it like this though, because if you were to send it like this, um, it will look uh, a bit weird, right? It will have the, the following format and the assistant sometimes will have uh, some difficulty in understanding this format. So what you would do obviously is wrap the uh, format a function around the now variable, and then you can set out a, a year format and then a month format and a day format as follows. Okay. And then you put the hours and the minutes. Okay. So then oh, let's put in a colon there. My laptop is about to explode. <laughs> so yeah, you could have left it like this, click okay, and then save, but I'm going to show you that this doesn't work anymore. Okay. So let's just try it. Let's run this once and let's go here and talk with the assistant. Okay. Hi, this is Lisa from happy clinic. How can I help you? Hi, uh, what is the current day? Just a sec. One moment. I apologize. I'm currently unable to fetch the current date. How else can I assist? Right. So you saw right there, it wasn't able to do it before we would be able to do this, but not anymore because, um, the format of the response has changed, right? It's different with tools and we need to provide the following format back, right? So, um, this is the format. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. By the way, you can find that in the documentation, but I'll leave it in the description anyways. So what you would do is put in this following response format. Okay. And on this tool call ID, well, you're going to find this under the tool calls object and then right here. So you're going to replace the X with this variable right here. Okay. And then this is what the, uh, the assistant will use. Okay. This result right here. And the result is going to be the actual date and time, right? Um, instead of writing the, the now variable, like we used to do, and then obviously, um, add the format date and then, you know, do all that in order to make the system a bit uh, easier to change later on, right? What we can do, and this is a uh, good practice when you build more complex systems inside make, what you should do is replace this with a variable that's already defined previously. Okay. So let's do that. Let's get this and put this in the middle. And this is a tools module and we will be setting a variable here. Okay. We'll be calling this date and time and then do the formatting here. All right. So format date, put this back here and then setting this to the year month day format and then the hours and minutes as well. Select OK. And then we will choose, uh, we will choose this variable. We will set this variable right here. All right. If this doesn't appear for some reason over here, if you can't select it here, you can always go ahead and right click this and then run this module only. Okay. And then it should appear here. But yeah, this is how it should look. Okay. Very simple. And then there's these two other functions. Okay. These two other make automations. 
This one does require WebGL response and we will be doing the same thing, okay? This one is responsible for retrieving slots that are busy in my calendar, okay? So we will go ahead and reformat this, okay? Let's write the correct response format. So let's select it again, right here. And then uh, the tool called ID will be this one that I said before, right? In the webhook module, in the first webhook module. And then we are going to select the result and the result should be the full busy variable right there, okay? And now it should work. And then don't forget to hit save, All right? Great. So that's pretty much it for the setup of the tools. And then obviously uh, correcting the make automations that have a web response at the end so that the assistant can properly retrieve information, okay? Now, before we end the video, I'm gonna give you a little trick to make a call a bit more realistic, okay? So you go under the voice tab right here, okay? And then you're going to select the background sound. Go ahead and select the office. So this is how the calls on the, this video, you heard that there was some typing in the background, right? So this is the setting that allow me um, to add that sound, all right? So there you go, little, little treat over there. So go ahead, play around with it and see if you like it. Great. All right, so that's pretty much it. I've shown you how to set the tools on the VAPI UI. And also I've shown you how to set the right response format on your webhook modules on the make automations, right? So as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I understand what type of videos to post on the future. And if you didn't like the video for some reason, let me know why in the comments below. That's also as equally as important. And if you wanna stay tuned to not miss any of the uh, next videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. All right. And yeah, that's all I had to say. And I wish you a good day and I'll see you soon.